up guys, I'm KVHD here and welcome to my, some might call it an everyday carry video or a what's in my bag, what's in my tech bag uh, backpack video. So I've watched a whole ton of these videos, they're all over YouTube and they all feel, they're super badass and way more nuanced and complex than mine. So like I didn't feel the need to share my bag because it didn't seem that great. Like you can ask people, I don't really carry that much stuff on the regular and it's not even like really a tech bag per se, but the more I thought about it, the more it felt like actually the fact that it's unique in that way may actually make it worth sharing. So maybe you'll enjoy it. It works for me. Maybe you'll get some ideas out of what you wanna do with your tech bag. So as a post student that's not carrying a bunch of books, this is what's in my tech bag. So this is the bag itself. It's called the Herschel Pop Quiz Backpack. It's somewhat new to me actually. I switched from a slightly simpler Herschel backpack a couple weeks ago, uh, but just for a couple little better things as far as interior organization. But it's also red. You don't have to get the red one that screams like red and black. You know, you can get a much simpler color. I'll link this below, as well as, of course, anything else I talk about in this video. But basically you can beat these things up. Like they're very durable. Uh, it's also weatherproof. It's got this hood on the top. All the, the zippers and things like that are weather resistant so water doesn't get in. You don't want to get this thing soaked, obviously. It's still fabric but it's held up great. I toss it around, I throw it in my car every single day, no problems. Like I said, it's definitely not a tech bag, but I like that it doesn't scream, I have hundreds of dollars of technology inside. And of course you can get a more discreet color and like a gray or a black. I was using a gray before, uh, but I, I feel like those bags that have like a USB port and a solar panel and like a battery bank inside, that's a little much. You add weight, you add complexity, Keeping it simple here. So okay, inside the main compartment, you got your zippers up top. My number one thing, and that's in the back in this laptop compartment, which is actually felt lined, and you get all this, this cool black and white pattern inside too, which I actually think kind of looks nice. But anyway, the laptop, that is the 13 inch Retina MacBook Pro with touch bar from last year, and it's in this in-case sleeve with a magnet. And I really like the sleeve actually. It's got like this heather gray look. It peels back up here, closes like that with a magnet. It holds the 13 inch MacBook Pro, but there's a 15 inch version as well. Has these sort of rubber bumpers on the end and goes through airports like this. Don't have to take it out. It's great. And then the laptop itself has held up fine. I haven't upgraded to the latest quad core model because I don't do all that much complex stuff on this laptop. Like if I'm traveling for video, I'm bringing a lot more stuff, including the video editing laptop, which is the 15 inch MacBook Pro. But as far as everyday carry stuff, this, the most I'll do on it is some light photo editing, uh, a lot of web browsing, email, things like that. This is great for that little dbrand skin on the back, never hurt anybody, and it's kept it in pretty good condition. So this is the daily laptop of choice. And let's see, I also have my water bottle. Can never be too hydrated. Shout out to all the companies that include uh, stickers in their boxes. That's uh, definitely a nice touch. And if I like it, it'll probably end up on this water bottle. I also have back here the MacBook Pro charger. This is the higher wattage charger from the 15 inch MacBook Pro. It just charges the laptop faster. So I use it for the 13 inch MacBook Pro. And also since it's USB-C, don't tell anyone, I also use it for my phone too. That's kind of the beauty of having one port for everything. Hasn't damaged anything as far as I know yet, but USB-C among all the things has been great. But then of course, speaking of things that I guess aren't USB-C, it's the Bose QC35. Headphones of choice as far as like over ear, especially for traveling, getting on a plane. I don't fly without these headphones. They're noise canceling. They have a rechargeable battery, but they charge via micro USB. That's the sad part about them. Um, but everything else about these is amazing and I highly recommend them. So that's pretty much always in the backpack. Um, and then that's like it for the main compartment. This I would say is like my optional accessories bag, which is not always in the everyday carry. But this is like a, a zipper bag from Herschel that's made to go in their backpacks. And it's got a zipper on the top. And if you unzip this, you get a whole bunch of little tech goodies inside. So first up is this media drive, it's USB-C. Uh, and it is easily the fastest drive I've ever used. It's the Samsung X5. Uh, so anytime you need to do offline media, moving it between machines, uh, photos, videos, raw files, whatever it is, I use this now. It used to be the Samsung T5 that everyone would use, and that's still a very popular drive that I have, but this is literally like eight times faster. So any big files, whoop. 
will go through this. And I also found these, these came from a Dave 2D video. These are basically a full size USB to any number of different micro USB, lightning, or USB type C cables. So if you wanna charge something, say from a battery bank, plug this end into the battery bank, plug one of these into what you wanna charge, and it will work. So if you forgot your cable, or if you need an extra cable, or if someone wants to borrow one, you can give them this, and no matter what phone they have, it'll work. And then we also have this Anchor power bank. I've had this for how many years now? Four, five years, forever. I think it's a 20,000, uh, 20,100 milliamp hour battery. Uh, the great thing about it is it's got USB type C, so if you wanna charge it, it uses the same charger as the MacBook Pro to plug this thing up and juice it up, and then there's two full-size USB ports for, again, whatever you want. This is all optional. This is like if I'm going on a long flight or if I'm on a long trip, or if we're doing video stuff, I'll toss this in there too. And this backpack also has this sort of a extra top little sleeve up here. It's microfiber lined. I think it's because you're supposed to put a phone in it or something like that. Uh, the only thing I have in here right now, why am I reaching so far, is the AirPods I use, which are the matte black everything ones, of course. The most beautiful pair of AirPods you've ever seen. Don't put your keys in there. That is not something you wanna do. You don't wanna mix. That like kind of defeats the purpose of the microfiber, but that's what I put in there. And then you get to the, the least used front section of this backpack. So up at the front is this like organizer section. I, again, don't use it very much, but you still got that felt like striped lining in here and then some pockets for things like dongles or headphones. And then I have a black lightning cable. So obviously I have a whole bunch of USB-C going on in my life, but the iPhone is not one of those things. So this is my iPhone charger. Things like contact lenses, business cards, and that's it for that. And then the final outside is some more business cards, a pen, and a little microfiber. You can never go wrong with having a microfiber. What happened to my card reader? Oh, it's still in here. I almost forgot. So I keep this in the sleeve where the laptop usually is, just because I always use it with my laptop. But this little thing, the Van Vanja, I'll link it below because I don't know what it's called, but it's kind of like the Swiss Army knife of media card readers. Anytime I need to import photos or audio from an SD card, bam, one side is USB type C. But if I'm not about that, bam, the other side is full size USB, or if you pull it back, micro USB. It is super useful. I've let people loan, like borrow this. I've used this many times with my MacBook Pro, micro USB or sorry, micro SD cards or SD cards. I love this thing. I keep it in the pocket with the MacBook Pro all the time. It's durable and it's never broken, so I just tossed it in there. But that's basically it. That's what I keep in my backpack every day. Uh, literally, that's, that's about it. This video is brought to you by my wallet. Actually, speaking of my wallet, phone, wallet, keys. That's always the things I have with me. Wallet is this trove slim wallet, I'm pretty sure is what it's called, with a little MKBHD engraved logo on it. That's a pretty special edition. Thanks, Trove, you guys are great. Keys and whatever phones I'm carrying right now, which are, as you're probably wondering, OnePlus 6, iPhone 10. Okay, that's really it this time. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.